day students you are welcome to the e-learning platform of the Lagos State Government my name is Okewo Adewale your economics instructor for today I shall be discussing the topic financial institution with you as a continuation to our earlier lesson on financial institution by the end of the lesson you should be able to define money market state the functions and instruments used in money market define capital market state the functions and the instruments used in capital market in the previous lesson we defined financial institution as all business organization which hold money for individuals and institutions and may borrow from them in order to grant loans or make other investment it is important for you to recall all the details of the previous lesson on financial institution in order to aid your understanding of today's topic meaning of money market money market basically refers to a section of the financial market where financial instrument with high liquidity and short-term maturities are traded it is an organized exchange market where participants can lend and borrow short-term high quality debt securities with average maturities of one year or less the market enables government banks and other large institutions to sell short-term securities money market is characterized with short-term maturity periods and high liquidity some of the institutions that participate in the money market include commercial banks non-banking finance corporations acceptance houses mutual funds investment institution and central bank to mention but a few functions of money market the money market performs the following functions among many others one money market maintains money related equilibrium in an economy by ensuring that there is a balance between the demand for money and supply of money two it promotes the growth and development of the economy through the finance of trade and investment three it provides assistance to industry by financing their activities four it enhances commercial bank self-sufficiency and five it lubricates central bank policies by regulating the activities of commercial banks thank you for your attention and participation as we bring this session to a close You are welcome back from the short break we have considered money markets and its functions in the previous lesson we shall now be discussing the instruments used in money markets instruments used in money markets the money markets instruments meet short-term requirement of the borrowers and provides liquidity to the lenders 
the most common money market instrument are treasury bills, repochets agreement, commercial papers, bankers acceptance, certificates of deposit, loan and overdraft, and short-term securities. The above money market instruments are highly liquid short-term assets used to facilitate lending and borrowing in the money market. These instruments meet the short-term requirements of the borrowers and provide liquidity to the lenders. Advantages of money market. The advantages or benefits derived from money markets include 1. Money market accounts pay higher interest rates than other types of bank accounts. Hence, customers earn high annual returns on their money market account. 2. It is one of the safest investment portfolio because of its low level of risk. 3. It is less volatile compared to the stock market. And 5. The money market provides access to cash as at when needed. We shall now be considering the meaning of capital market. Capital market can be defined as the part of a financial system concerned with raising capital by dealing in shares, bonds and other long-term securities. It deals in financial instruments and commodities that are long-term securities. Capital market consists of the primary market where new securities are issued and sold and the secondary market where old securities are traded. We have a diagram of capital market here and the two branches. The capital market, then we have primary market and secondary market constituting the capital market. The capital market has the following features. One, it connects savers and entrepreneurial borrowers. Two, it deals in medium and long term investment. Three, the presence of intermediaries that facilitate transactions in the capital market. Then four, determinant of rate of capital formation. And five, capital market is regulated by the government rules and regulations. Thank you for your attention and participation. Please join me in the next broadcast. Thank you. You are welcome back to the final presentation of this lesson. Functions of capital market. The capital market performs the following functions. One, mobilization of savings to finance long-term investment. The capital market mobilizes savings through bonds, issuance of shares, and other long-term security instrument to mobilize fund for long-term investment. Two, it facilitates trading of securities. Trading of securities such as shares, 
bonds are facilitated through the capital market. Minimization of transaction and information costs. The capital market minimizes the transaction and information costs on securities traded. Four, the capital market encourage wide range of ownership of productive assets. This can be in form of share holding um, subscribers to bond. It can be in form of debentures and so on and so forth. Number five, quick valuation of financial instruments like shares and debentures. Six, the capital market facilitates transaction settlement as per the definite time schedule. And last but not the least, the capital market facilitates improvement in the effectiveness of capital formation. Advantages of capital market. The following are the advantages of capital market. One, it improves the efficiency of transactions. Two, it plays a crucial role in encouraging the adoption of rules of corporate governance. Three, capital market move money between investors, that is, people who supply capital and people in need of capital for investment. Four, it creates liquidity in the market. And last but not the least, it is one of the best source of finance for companies. Instruments used in capital market. The following are some of the instruments used in capital market. One, securities. It is a general term for stock exchange investment. Two, equity shares. These include ordinary shares of limited company, preference shares, and so on and so forth. Three, debentures. Debentures are creditors to business organization. Five, bonds. And last but not the least, government securities. Participants in capital market. The participant in capital market includes one, issuing houses, two, insurance companies, three, building societies, four, development banks, five, national provident fund, six, stock exchange, and so on and so forth. Thank you for your participation. Please attempt the following questions as your assignment. Question one, what are the rules of the stock exchange in the economic development of your country? Question two, identify and discuss the major differences between money markets and capital markets. For further readings, please consult the following. Fundamentals of Economics for Senior Secondary School by RAI and Yaucha and the Internet. Bye for now.